Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a general reading, but before I get into it, I just want to make a couple of announcements. So I'm giving away five free readings this month. Please check the description box down below so you can see how you can be entered in the giveaway. I'm also on Black Friday offering 30% off my Teespring store and my zenwithinme.com store. Those links are also down below. Okay, Cancer, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. What does Cancer need to know at this time? What messages do you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising at this time? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what's going on with Cancer? What does Cancer need to know at this time? Okay, we have the Three of Swords. I don't read reversals. So someone may be dealing with some kind of separation or heartache. Let's see if we can find out separation or heartache from what. Okay. Please give us more messages for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. here that okay because something is over okay so you're dealing with an ending so you have this um, heartache because you're dealing with an ending with someone or a separation from someone it may have passed away okay that's it thank you okay so let's see we'll get some more cards from here Please give us some more clarity and explain the Three of Swords and the Death card for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please give us some more clarity with this reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, Teacher. Okay, so I'm feeling for some of you, it could be maybe a mentor that has passed away, or if you're in school, you may find out that like a teacher has passed away, or um, a teacher is leaving. It could be as well. Um, so it doesn't have to be like it's an ending of their career there, and they are transforming. So they're leaving to go to like another school or they're retiring, you know, so it's like that's an ending and it could have been like a favorite teacher of yours so you're really bummed about it or it may be that someone's passing away, okay? Let's see. What other messages can you give us regarding this reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, please? Last shuffle. So we have conflict. Okay, so you may have had conflict with this teacher. Or it doesn't even have to be this teacher. It could be, but it could be someone that you had um, a conflict with. And that's now over. Uh, maybe you broke up with someone and there was a lot of conflict. And even though the relationship is over, you're still upset about it. Healing. Yeah, and now you need to heal. Whether it's someone passing or you broke up, you're going to need to heal from it. Could also be you're conflicted with getting this news because you didn't have an issue with this person. Like some of you did, some of you didn't. Okay. I'm going to go to the Alice in Wonderland deck. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading, please? What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading? 
Well, this actually flew out, so I'll take it. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So for some of you, this ending is... It's really going to affect you, and, and that's why you're conflicted, and that's why you need to heal. See, this even matches her shirt here. No need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. Sorry, the glare with my glasses messed me up. <laughs> so no need to fear. Remember how powerful you are. So you may be really down and out getting this news, whether it's somebody passing or it's somebody moving on in some way or this breakup, okay? but you will pull it together. Okay, any other messages for Cancer Sun Moon Rising regarding this reading from the Alice in Wonderland deck? Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So some of you are really going to be pissed off about what this is that's going on here. So I'm getting for some of you, if it's related to like a teacher or a mentor, maybe somebody is getting fired and it's pissing you off because they may be getting fired due to conflict. I'm getting like maybe somebody lied, you know, like a, a student lied about a teacher or something like that because they didn't want to get in trouble for what they did. So they lied and instead the teacher got in trouble and you're really pissed off about it because you know that uh, it's not true, you know, and it's causing a lot of conflict. And with no need to fear, remember how powerful you are. You may actually try to do something to bring the truth out to help this person. It's for a small few of you. Okay, thank you. Okay, what do we have from the Moonology deck here? What other messages do we have for Cancer Sun Moon Rising regarding this reading? Okay, what other messages do we have for Cancer Sun Moon Rising regarding this reading? Okay, last shuffle. here believe in the impossible okay so where you want to try and and help out your first thought might be well I can't make a difference well you know what you never know believe in the impossible you just might be able to or if someone <sighs> you know, I'm gonna leave it at that it's time to take action. New moon and Aries. Okay, so you may be dealing with an Aries. And it's time to take action. So yeah, I feel that then this believe in the impossible. You guys, wherever this conflict is with this person, whether, like I said, it's a mentor or teacher um, or somebody that's trained you in a, in a job, okay, that doesn't have to be a, an actual teacher, however it resonates with you. This could be someone that trained you at your job. It could be like a manager or something like that. You know, that they taught you things. And now there's something going on that's shady and not right. And you might be like, well, you know what? This pisses me off because that's not right. This person is like, you know, getting blamed for something that they didn't do. Let me stand up and I'm going to say something and see if I can actually make a difference. I'm going to take some action and I'm going to get involved and see what I can do here. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can get some letters to help with this reading. What letters or initials are relevant to Cancer regarding this reading? 
Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm getting Karen, Katie. Kentucky and Kansas is coming up. Kentucky could even be like KFC, you know? So if, like, you work in a KFC, there might be some drama going on there with your manager. Like, you know, it's however this resonates with you. Everybody lives all different kinds of lives in different places here, you know? S. Yeah, I'm also getting Kansas. Somebody might get smacked. So seeing something with skiing. And a kiss. Maybe somebody kissed somebody at work or something like that, and you're not supposed to fraternize, and so now there's a problem, and somebody's saying, well, no, they took advantage, and it's like, no, I didn't. You let me, you know, something along those lines. You. So I know it's not how you spell cuss, but it could be that um, somebody is going to be cursing, cussing. Also, SKU number, I'm seeing, S-K-U, that's SKU number. So this could have something to do with retail, if maybe somebody was accused of stealing, and that's why they're being let go, you know. And maybe by you getting involved in saying something, it'll result in them being transferred instead of fired. So... Believe in the impossible. Anything is possible. All right, so there's a lot of ways to read this. I'm also seeing skunk. So I don't know if you live in an area where you have skunks or somebody likes, uh, like, Pepe Le Pew. They have that little character on stuff. B. Okay, I'm seeing bus. Somebody rides a bus or drives a bus. I'm also getting busy. Uh, sub. So it could be a substitute teacher. Or you may work at Subway. I'm also seeing sucks. Someone's going to be like, this sucks. Okay. N-H. Yeah, see, I was feeling this and I couldn't think of the word. Husk. So what is that? Like corn husk, right? Husk. So I don't know. Something may have to do with that as well. Because I said Kansas and stuff like that before. So maybe you live in, in Kansas or Kentucky. That was another thing. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for you, Cancer. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm also seeing Hush. I just want to put that out there real fast. Um, peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.